Do you want to help them? Stop compromising. Stop compromising. Stop compromising. You are going to be a solution to other people who are trapped by Satan. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let, let me get three people who can tell us where they are compromising before we pray. Three people. Three people who want to Confess they are compromising three. You can come, say. I got one, come. The second one, the last one. I have my brother here. I got another one there. Come, yes. Let's hear. Come, sister. You can stand there. We'll hear you when you are there. Let's hear, my brother. Amen, Pastor. Amen. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I've come here. Give because glory to God. Give glory to God. He said, that is the reason why he came here. Okay? I, I've been called of God and I've been compromising the anointing by feeling sorry for people. And thinking that by feeling sorry for them, I'm doing God's work. And instead, I should have cut them off. Because they started draining the anointing. To the point that there was nothing left. Listen, clap hands for that. <laughs> Compromising is I give you what, what, what I have. And you must give me yours. So now... They gave him what they are having, which was empty. That is why I said he compromised, he lost even the anointing. Okay, carry on. And I've been watching uh, uh, Charis TV. Another pastor introduced me. I've been here only once before. I just walked into this place and the anointing was too much. And now I'm in trouble because now I need to cut off everything. On New Year's Eve, the Lord said, throw Jonah off the boat. Because you've got people that are wasting your time and wasting the anointing. And it put me into a lot of trouble. And now I've got to put my coin reverse and come before God and repent. And I came here to see you because I know you're one of the only people that can help me to fix this problem, sir. You can hear that. You can hear that. A person, I mean, try to carry on with the church that is wearing you. It, you know, it's what happened to Moses. Moses was given an assignment to take what this Israelites to Canaan. What happened to him? God took him. God can even take you away because you cannot move forward by the people. People are there they can weary you, weary you. The Bible says, lay aside all this filthiness. Lay aside all this weight, unwanted weight. And I believe today God is going to restore you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Look here. If I carry on say, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor, I must hear God. I must hear God if God planned me here. Because if not, very soon, pastoring is not easy. These people, the first people that come are not even your members in pastoring. The first people that come with you, they're not even your members. And then very soon you find that they can go, others come. If God has called you, when one of them goes, others are coming to test your calling. In the beginning of your calling. The people that come there, they are coming to test your calling if you mean it. You understand? And then now, if you look on them, you can miss your calling. You can exhaust everything and give them. And they give you nothing. So for the people that God has, uh, has called for you to come, you don't need to... Let me say, for God to call people 
to come and stand with you for, the, for that vision. You don't need to trust these ones. But trusting them, bringing them, you are showing them the, that, you know, you were not wrong to do that. You were not wrong. But you were supposed to hear, if truly they are yours. Amen. You understand? So God loves you. Okay, you'll be free today. Let's hear another one. Let's hear. I won't pray for you. I'll pray for him later. Let's hear another one. Hallelujah. Mm. Um, I've compromised in so many things. Um, there was a... Actually, when I started doing some businesses, I started compromising, having relationships that are not godly because of... I wanted to start something that is huge in business. And then I lost the control. Then I started having relationship. I, I entered into another relationship that has caused me to have a baby before time I got married. So I'm between all places because of compromising right now. Uh, most of the time, money to young people is very dangerous. Yes. Because, you know, that's the prayer you need to pray. I need God than money. You understand? Young, money to young people is very dangerous. When it comes to you before you become matured, that money will tell you what to do. You understand? Yes. That's what is happening to you. Yes. you. When money came, now there are ladies who are looking at you. If you to show your maturity is when money comes and yes, you are still man. worshiping God. Yes, man of God. When money comes and you still see God as God. But now when money comes and you're no longer looking at God, you are looking at these ones who are coming here. They are coming because of money. When money goes, they will leave you. Yes, man of God. That's how many relationships were established. We established because of what you had. Mm -hmm. When it goes, there's no more love. I'm sure you understand that. Yes, sir. So I believe today you have learned a lesson and God will help you. God bless you. <laughs> Let me get another one. The last Had one is the lady. Hallelujah. I can't see the lady. She must come forward a little bit. I think even, listen to this, before this lady comes, you know, I know I've got some people here who don't compromise at all. Even my wife, she told me that if I begin to preach the gospel for money, she will leave me. She told me. She said, I don't want to compromise. She said, I will leave you because I don't want money. I want God. I've got some people here that already Others have left their families because of God. They want God. Because the, the Bible says, Jesus has brought what? A short. I'm, I'm sure it's a short. A short is there to cut. They've left. So some of you here now, you are worshipping this marriage. You are just worshipping it. And that's why you find that you were so powerful in prayer. Now, sometimes you find that the Bible, you will look at it just once per week. But before the Bible was with you, you compromise. You enter relationships that dilute you. Okay, let me hear, Sissy. Hallelujah. I was being a worshiper. And then I compromised my worshiping gift due to financial problems. And then by the stage that I was going through, I also have many relationships that I compromise having faith and trusting in God on using me in so many cases. Even now in my marriage, I'm still doing the same thing. You are doing what? I'm cheating. I'm jolling around and doing hectic stuff. People like this, you people must be happy for them. Because I want to tell you, many singers, many what? Many singers, they attract people. When they are holding mics there, many gospel singers, don't, don't cry, sis. Gospel singers, many of them, 99% of gospel singers, they are being challenged by a, a, a spirit of lust. 
Because some people, when they are going to dance there, when they say, hey, 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 even themselves here, when they are here, when they are doing their style, hey, yeah, hey, hey. They do it looking at that one. Even that one is looking at them here. Look here, any entertainment is done on facial. It's not done without, I mean, without seeing each other. That's why you can't do, you can't, people can't dance here, you dance here like this. Hey, yeah, yeah. You must look at them. And that's where sin starts. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. So, sister, where is your husband? It's at Limpopo. Uh, lift up your hands. I'll pray for you. Out! In the name of Jesus. Spirit of lust, leave her. Leave my sister in the name of Jesus. Sister, you will never do that again. In Jesus' name, you are free. And what is your name? What is your name? Mpo. Mpo who? Maha. Huh? Maha. I'm sure I want to say this for the sake of your husband. I'm quite sure that uh, unrepented sin is more dangerous than confession. Once now, my brother, if you know you'll get this, you must rejoice that your wife has confessed. You must just excite her. Amen. Amen. So, also, I've got a question with the sister when she's going. So, the brother knows that you were, you were doing that. And he is threatening to separate the marriage. Isn't it? Yeah? True. He, he, he told you that that's why you're able to come. Because when she's going there, I'm hearing that she's able to confess because the brother now is tired. So, you want to separate the marriage now. So, that brother must not separate the marriage. Because everybody has mistakes. Even him, he has got his own mistakes. So, God has forgiven both of you. Amen.